recorder here on my phone, so it, it records the call and it saves it, and I can uh, download it and edit it and, and everything. So okay, good. great. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. So, um, what will, what would you like to focus on today? The the, the play mostly, or um, I mean, I have a lot of questions here and things, but I want to be sure it, it helps okay. you out. Yeah. Uh, well, okay. um, did you get a chance to read the script or part I read, of it? I, I read, yeah, I read, uh, I read part of it, yeah. Uh, it's, yeah. it's very funny right from the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's yeah, it's comedy. Yeah. It's funny to watch it in rehearsal, too, you know. Oh, I bet. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, I get, yeah, I mean, I'd love to sure, talk about the play. Uh, we were trying to promote the play. Yeah. Um, I would like to offer, um, you know, make, make sure that your listeners know that there's some discounted tickets available and how to access them. Okay. And, yeah, so, and, um, and, uh, and, you know, I could talk a little bit about how the sisterhood came together. Yeah. You know, how the sisterhood came together, if you will, so, um, yeah, I had all that on here, so I think I think we're on the same page then. Um, okay. Yeah. So just so you know, I don't. I have a podcast that I've been doing for a couple of years. Oh, I, was, no, I've listened to some of these. Yeah, they're fun. Oh, oh, great. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I was part of a uh, larger group years ago, not years ago, about a year ago. It was called Wave Radio, and there was, there was a different person every day, and we had thousands of listeners, and then they wow. disbanded, and uh, so I, I, I kept going on my own, um, but, you know, all of a sudden, the number of people listening just disappeared, uh, but I do it anyway, because it's fun. Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. So, how do I, I pronounce your last name? Galdor? Is that right? Galdor. Yeah. Galsua. Galsua. Okay. Galsua. Galsua. Yeah. Galsua. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. So, uh, and then also, and I'll, I'll put in the notes all the information about the, the website and where you get tickets and all that stuff. So, Great. Yeah, Great. Just how long the run is and, and all that. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. And then you can also mention it. Yeah. All right. Great. So, uh, all right, so we'll, we'll we'll start, but I can you know I can I can edit this as I said. So okay, all right, okay. Uh, Hi, Anne. Thanks for coming on. I'm so happy to be with you, Ray. I'm so happy to be on the show. Yeah, I have, you sent me the the script of uh, Get Gandhi, and it's very funny right from the beginning. I don't want to give anything away, but uh, I was just imagining the the uh, <laughs> I was imagining the rehearsals. Uh, it must have been fun there, right, that first scene. Yes, lots yeah. of fun, but also lots of work. Lots oh, of work bet. to coordinate that first scene. So the actors are getting the work out, but it is very very funny. Yeah, I love yeah. comedy. Love and I love writing comedy too. So yeah. So, so this play is called Get Gandhi. Is that the official name, or is the uh, the other Phrase uh, a, a subtitle as well. Uh, together, it's a seriously radical feminist comedy. Yeah, both. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's, I love yeah that. it's the title. <laughs> so the official title is Get Gandhi: A Seriously Radical Feminist Comedy. Yeah. Yeah. How did you um? How did you come up with the idea for this? Well, actually. It, came up because for a long time, uh, my friends and fellow artists, um, my dear, dear friends, uh, Jerry Lynn Cohen and Patty Silver, who were two really, you know, amazing um, actors in the Bay Area, uh, were just trying to figure out, like, a way to work together and talking about it and looking, just looking for stuff. And uh, and we just started having conversations and uh, researching work, just stuff around women's issues. And then 
we were I, I was reading uh, some stuff from Mary Daly, uh, the wonderful radical feminist a philosopher and historian uh, from her seminal work, Pure Lust, uh, where she had written about something to me that was extremely provocative um, uh, uh, about Mahatma Gandhi's controversial celibacy practice of um, sleeping naked with naked young women to test his purity of spirit. And it was very, you know, we just, wow, that was provocative. And at the same time, uh, we started, you know, we, we were reading things, uh, I guess, online and in print and hearing about it on the news about, um, you know, uh, you know, issues of sexual assault, story, you know, story, high, stories of girls in high school, um, um, uh, it, it, stories around sexual assault and and just you know, mistreatment and obviously that has been going on for a long time. But this was all percolating as um, just issues, issues that we would explore. So, so I began writing scenes and we'd get together, we'd read and eat, and we wanted to. We that's. And we still do. We read and eat. I mean, that's what it is. And um, okay. so we just started exploring this, looking at, um, you know, you know, we, you know, creating something for us to do, and and also being San Francisco artists, uh, uh, finding um, like material that was, you know. Uh, you know, be set in our city or, or in the Bay Area. And then Jerry Lynn came across in her research this article about this uh, Indian uh, minority organization that was pro- that wanted to protest. They wanted to remove the statue of Gandhi behind the ferry building uh, because of his uh, racist and um, violent urges and, uh, and you know, these are things that he said against Jews and Christians and Sikhs and Muslims and uh, just this long list um, and so we oh gosh then we came up with the idea oh my god well what if there were a radical uh, a, 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 a small coven of old school bra burning radical feminists in San Francisco who would get Seriously angry that they that that they didn't include um, women on that list, and so boy, and then the the, the sparks started flying uh, about trying to beat them to the punch of you know getting rid of the statue, and there you go, and that these were, I mean, this is how this play came about. This little theatrical comic romp came into being, and yeah. so. Yeah, so I just kept writing. That's a great idea. Yeah, and we mm-hmm. and we read and we get together and then uh, sort of and sculpting you know, and then they would be asking questions that ask, actors ask, looking at the arc of the story. I had uh, brought the part of the script uh, into Jane Wenger, this wonderful director and dramaturg. In, uh, based in, in Marin, and she gave me some notes. We kept going from there. And then Nancy Carlin, uh, you know, incredible director and an act, uh, incredible actor as well, she came on board as our director in 2016, and then she brought her husband, Howard Swain, in on the project to play the role of Bob, and their daughter, Miranda, to play the role of Maya, and there you are. And now we're in rehearsal, and I am so grateful for bathroom breaks because, you know, I, I mean, I do, I laugh so much, I have to go to the bathroom. I'm serious, you know. I was laughing when I was reading it. Yeah. (laughs) You know it's funny when you're reading it and you're laughing. Right. Because, you know, okay. sometimes you read comedies and think, okay, yeah, I'll see that. It'll be funny once it plays out. But I was laughing right from the first line. <laughs> Thank you. I know. Thank you. And it was fun. It was fun writing it, you know. Yeah. Yeah. It was fun writing it. And, you know, I mean, 
Well, you know, I mean, you're an actor and, and right. you're a theater practitioner. That a practitioner, like, every time, you know, we go into a new project or a new show, like, you, you keep learning and growing as an artist. And yeah. so that's what I feel here. Like, that's my secret joy in all of this, you know, that I keep learning and growing as a writer and, um, you know, and as a collaborator, because theater really is a collaborative art form. And mm -hmm. um, I love, you know, the ideas in the room and um, and just the spirit of generosity. So we have a great, great team. And um, we have as our assistant director this young, up-and-coming, brilliant young playwright and director, Julius Rea, who's, who's incredible, and he brings so much. Um, what, what, was, yeah. what was that person's name again? Is His name is Julius mm -hmm. Rea, and okay. he is incredible. We have high hopes for him. Um, we have really high hopes for him, and he's just been an amazing pair of eyes and ears, and he's learning. I mean, he started out, you know, uh, shadowing, um, uh, you know, uh, Nancy's mother, Joy Carlin, while she was directing at the Aurora last season, mm -hmm. and then he came on board to... Uh, shadow uh, Nancy, but also provide, uh, you know, dramaturgical support as well uh, for me. And he's been amazing, just amazing. So I love the next generation in our project. I love the next generation with Miranda playing Maya and everything yeah. she brings to it. And not only that, Ray, our stage manager, Tony Gedry, is from Chaff Bay, Louisiana. She's Cajun, mm -hmm. like me. I mean, I'm from Cutoff, Louisiana, and she's like less than an she's from like less than an hour away. She's young. She's fantastic. She and I went to the same uh, university, and the world is so small. I was going to ask you how you. Uh, you were able to cast the show with all these great people and all, and you answered the question. It just sort of happened organically, it sounds like. It, right. Uh, it started, yeah, it sort of happened organically. Uh, and cool. we, yeah, and we just kept getting together. Like, you know, that's just the way we did it and the way we had to do it. And, um, and then, you know, by the time the Me Too movement caught on fire, if you will, and time's up, I mean, we, we were like, we have to do this. This has to go up. You know, this yeah. is. Yeah. And, you know, so now for is the us, time. now is the time. The time is now. And so um, for us, uh, Z Space, which is a natural artistic home for us, uh, Patty and Jerry Lynn are charter members of Word for Word, Word Theater Company, and I do a lot of uh, work um, at uh, at Z Below, uh, at Z Space. Uh, they um, co-produce um, a festival of new plays by the MFA Playwrights in the MFA Playwriting Program at San Francisco State University, where I teach. So, I mean, we, this is a, this is an artistic home for us. So it's, it's like, it's a natural fit. And so, um, yeah, you know, we're hoping that, um, that our community will come out and check it out. We think our ticket prices are extremely reasonable. Um, $25 tickets. And we could also, uh, if you go to www.vspace.org slash get Gandhi and enter friend. In the promo box, you get a five dollar discount. Um, and students uh, have to get fifteen dollar tickets for any performance mm -hmm. uh, with your student ID. So you know, we think that this, um, you know, this is all like you know affordable. You know, uh, or we're hoping yeah. it is. So yeah, it is. Uh, yeah, I mean, we're you know, so uh, we don't want to do anything that makes it cost prohibitive. We're just hoping the community comes out uh, to support the show. So, well, I'll um, be there. And I'll Ray, be some thank people. you, thank you. Please <laughs> do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and what? Well, how do you get 
that five dollar discount again? What, what was the website? Okay. So if you go to Z, www.zspace.org mm-hmm. slash get Gandhi, G-E-T, G-A-N-D-H-I, okay. um, you know, you go and you buy your tickets, yeah. then they're going to have like, the, they'll have a promo box and you yeah. enter friend in that yeah. box. Right. Now, do, right. yes. To do it before August 19th, because that will expire okay. after August 19th. And just remember, the show runs August 10th through the 26th. Yeah. Three weeks. Three weeks. That's it. And school yeah. starts. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a pretty good run for a new play. I've been in a couple of new ones that only ran for a couple of weeks. So I think right. you got to go at least three weeks. Just to get advantage of the word of mouth, you know. That's right. If you close, if you close after two weeks, people are going to be scrambling to get into the last two performances, and then right. you yeah. can't let everyone in. Um, Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Which That's is going to be the case. You're going to be turning them away. <laughs> oh, Ray, please keep visualizing that in your mind. Oh, we're <laughs> hoping, we would love to be able to, be, you know, like have. I don't know if we could. If we could have extra shows or whatever, but we're just hoping that the community comes out and that it's well supported. So that would be so great. Be, yeah, you're going to be uh, performing this in Z Below, right? That's correct. And, and how many seats are in the street? Four fifty-four street. Yes, seventy-eight seats. Seventy-eight seats. Okay, so it's very in a very intimate theater. Correct. And I know this. I'm just restating it. <laughs> for, for the, for the uh, benefit of our audience. Um, for the newcomers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, how did you find the the, um, the assistant director or the stage manager to these, these young people? Okay, so um, the assistant director, Julius Rea, um, was in, uh, was a student at San Francisco State University, a philosophy major in the undergraduate program, but he also loved writing plays, and his plays were extraordinary. I mean, I mean, it's really great stuff. So I met him, uh, through, um, uh, since the creative writing department at San Francisco State University, I produced one of his plays in a, um, in a play festival that is done. It's a co-production between mm-hmm. San Francisco, the creative writing department mm-hmm. of the School of Theater and Dance at San Francisco State University in Sea Space. So it's called Greenhouse. It's a festival of new works. Oh, okay. And, right, and I mean, really talented, supremely gifted. And so I was kept in touch with Julius and because he wanted to create opportunities for himself um, I found out that Joy Carlin was looking for an assistant director and I I submitted his name and Joy loved working with him Uh, but Nancy wanted to work with him for this show Um, and so there's that and of course he's a young person so he understands social media like in a way that, I mean, I'm into rotary dial phones, right? You know, I mean, like, I'm old school, so he understands all this social media business, so he's been our, you know, social media maven, if you will, uh, on all of this. And then um, Tony Gidry, okay, so we were looking for a stage manager, and I tell this to people, if you're the stage manager, you're going to be working in the town. You can always get a lot of work in the town. Right. So we were, like, looking and looking and looking for a stage manager and putting it out there. And then Nancy Carlin heard from Jonathan Spector mm-hmm. uh, that he said, oh, I'm working with Tony Gidry. She's wonderful. And that's how we got uh, turned on to Tony, and guess what? Now, Tony is A-list. The same woman is A-list. Oh, and, you know, these, yeah, yeah, I mean, it's and it's amazing, you know, the these young people that really are, they work so hard, you know, and they all have gay jobs, and then they do this, and they give it their all. And, of course, there's a lot of caffeine involved. You know, you do yeah. a lot of coffee for these long days, bless their hearts. And, but I, it makes me feel 
confident about like the next generation, you know, yeah. and that that whatever is going to happen or whatever theater is becoming, you know, knowing that these young people, Julius, Tony, Miranda, and others, that like them that, that they have the will, they have the determination, um, the part of creating theater that has to do with creative problem solving, they've got all of that. You know, I feel like they're standing on our shoulders and that, that it's good. I, yeah. I know exactly what you're talking about. I mean, I have been involved in productions with people who are young. I, mean, I hate to say that now because I can't believe them as old as I am, but uh, um, well, they have this, it's almost as if um, because it's so much easier now to learn and become proficient uh, at things because I think because of the internet, um, you can become a good marketer, you can become, you can learn about playwriting much more easily, you can, people are just more sophisticated and if they care a lot about something like theater, like you say, they're standing on our shoulders and there are so many things that they understand that I don't even get, um, that they add to these, to the productions, no matter what capacity they're involved. Um, and it, it just, it gives you a lot of hope because you hear a lot all the time about how young people just have their faces in the phones and they're not thinking and they're not doing anything and they're not stimulating their minds. And I just don't find that to be true. Like, I find there are some incredibly talented people who are well beyond their years and their abilities and, and what they what they understand and the maturity level. I, I'm constantly amazed. But I, I, I just want to I'm, add that. I'm with, yeah, I agree <laughs> yeah. with you. I agree yeah. with you. Yeah. 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 Um, I've walked by that Gandhi uh, statue so many times. <laughs> and I, I think I never really pay attention to it. I'm sitting here looking at the pictures and I, and I, you know, I, I know, I think I've just got so used to it, I don't even really see it anymore. Um, but it's been vandalized quite a bit over the years, I read. Yeah. People frequently yeah. rip off the glasses. Um, yeah. And I think the staff has been ripped off a couple of times, that kind of thing. So it's got yeah. a history. And, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, it's got a history and stuff. That's such so, a great idea. I was but listening to Steve uh, Martin do a lecture on the Internet the other day, and he was talking about how material is all around us. You know, if you just open your eyes every day, you have material to work with. Uh, just in the real world. If you right. Just pay attention. <laughs> it's everywhere. Yeah. yeah it's right. everywhere. And yeah, and you can't make it up. About your story. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you can't make it up. It becomes a germinal idea or a seed idea for something wild. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Something yeah. wild. Yeah. And, yeah. And so, to me, the, my favorite part about writing or um, collaborating with others is the creative problem solving. And that's all I think about a story, really, and it's sort of like kind of creative problem solving and what's going to happen next, you know, like what's next, you know, like, I don't know, you know, just I like it. I like the creative process and stuff. So yeah. Yeah, I feel lucky that I get to do it with a group of people. I don't take that for granted. Let me tell you, Ray, at all. At that's all. wonderful. So, yeah, yeah. I, I, I love to work with playwrights who have that spirit about it because um it does take a village and so it's what you said. Right. Right. To really create a really good play. Um, right. Yeah. Uh I mean I know there have been some geniuses who like uh who sat in a room and, and turned up something amazing and put it up on stage a few weeks later and it's a, a Broadway hit. But that's not that's usually not how it happens. That's not yeah, and, and this has gone through through a, a couple of years of um, of work, right? You've been writing the scenes. You've mm -hmm. been right. Have, have you had have you done any staged readings or anything like that before? We did a staged reading at the Aurora last mm -hmm. March of 
um, and we've got a lot of information before then. We did uh, some of it at uh, the Future Female Festival in San Francisco in 2016, and over, I mean, since 2015 or so, we were like, we were, we were getting together and reading this. And every time there was some sort of new development, we would incorporate that mm -hmm. in the script. So really, that's been our process. Uh, it's yeah. just, that's just been our process. I see. And and here we are, you know. And well, um, yeah. Well, I don't want to give anything away, but I just want to tell everybody listening: this play is very, very funny. I I read a good chunk of it, and uh, and I I am very familiar with the actors that that Anne has uh, gathered, and so I can only imagine that it's just going to be a wonderful experience to see okay. the show. Thank you. I love yeah. watching these actors. These are A-list actors in veritable yeah. Bay Area theater royalty. Yeah. Uh, watching them work, Howard Swain, what a master at comedy. Sherry Lynn, yeah. Patty Silver. <laughs> oh, my yeah. God. And this fine Lindsay Kale. I don't, see, I don't know if you know Lindsay Kale. I don't know. Oh my gosh. Well, okay, that's another one. Okay, that's another young person. Just brilliant. I mean, just comedic skills that I love. Great timing. And I, she's from the East Bay in Nancy Carlin. Uh, I think Nancy Carlin was her teacher years ago. Oh. And she's amazing. Yeah, just amazing. So, yeah, Miranda yeah. Swain, yeah, the other man, oh, my gosh, yeah. Yeah, so they have a whole family there. That's, That's really right. Cool. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm, um, I am doing a staged reading in September that Nancy's directing. But, uh, yeah, so yeah. Cool to that. Yeah, yeah. So that'll be fun. Yeah. Um, and now, do you want to talk about your, about your Indiegogo campaign at all? Oh, my goodness. Ladies and gentlemen, friends in our community, kind listeners, um, our Indiegogo campaign, our hashtag Get Gandhi Indiegogo campaign, has another week to go. Uh, we are a scrappy theater company. We are self-producing this play at See Below. And if you go to our Indiegogo campaign um, and make a donation, you can get free tickets, uh, free homemade chocolate truffles. Who doesn't like homemade chocolate wow. truffles? And these are Gary Lynn Cohen's homemade tro chocolate truffles. And uh, so you get free tickets and chocolate truffles and our eternal thanks. Uh, but uh, we only have six days left to go in our champion yes, do it quick. But we, oh gosh, we'd be so grateful for a donation. So, uh, yeah. I think it looks so. like you're about two thirds of the way to your goal here. Yes, so that's we're, right. We're coming into the home stretch. So everybody, let's uh, let's help help out. Now, what is the name of your theater company? I love it. Can you tell everybody? All more? right, here's another one. Okay, the Sisterhood of the Traveling Pantsuits Theater Collective. <laughs> I just read the word pantsuits. Yes, yes, Theater Collective, that's right. So the Sisterhood yeah. of the Traveling Pantsuits Theater Collective, that's our name. And that Nancy came up with that one while we were eating uh, a homemade pumpkin squash soup. With pasta, you know, I'm telling you, we eat, we, we, we meet, read, and eat whenever we get together. It's, it's, it's another eating opportunity. And she came up with that. Oh, oh, we saw that warm glow from the name of it. And then, of course, yeah, so I know it's a, a long name for a website, but that's what we are. And this is our inaugural show. We have more work to come down the road, but this is our first show, so, yeah. Yeah. The Sisterhood of the Traveling Cancer Theater Collective, everybody. Don't forget that name. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be big. Now, you formed the theater company just for this play originally, right? Pardon? You formed the theater company as a way of yeah. producing the play. That's right. Yeah. That's right. 
And do you want it to take the play to some of the theater? You took it to theater companies in the Bay Area, but they didn't want to touch it because of the Gandhi subject? Uh, yeah. 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 Oh, who knows? You know, we see it. Yeah, yeah it, it is charged. It is provocative. But my yeah. goddess, I mean, we're we're like in very provocative times. Come on, exactly. you know. And uh, and also, you know, we get to dialogue and debate the stuff that the play's talking about, you know, in a comedic way. But you know, that's I mean, hey, that's what theater does. So yeah, you know what I've noticed lately is. Um, some of the best theater in the Bay Area now, it, and this is always this always goes in cycles, but it's coming out of small companies like yours, and I'm really enjoying both being able to perform in some of them and and going to see them, and some of it is just you know mind blowing, um, and, and and I love that that's happening again. Uh, and well, it, I wonder. Just in my lifetime here, it's gone up and down. You know, but we're back into that sort of cycle, and I really like it. Well, we're in really exciting times. You know, I mean, these are really provocative times. And you know, Ray, thank you for saying that because you got to be bold. Yeah. You know, it's bold, and um, so I'm going to take. Can I tell you a little story about? Sure. Because like this is like. So last, okay, I'll tell you my age, last October I turned 60, and I invited my girlfriends to celebrate with me the way I wanted to celebrate, which was to go to a good ramen noodle house, all right, and yeah. eat ramen noodles with me. That's what I wanted. And I told my girlfriends, which, you know, it was Nancy, uh, Jerry Lynn, Patty, and... Um, Nancy Shelby and uh, Ellen Sebastian Chang. You know Ellen Sebastian Chang, the director? I, I think of her as an auteur, um, wonderful director in the Bay Area and, and writer and auteur, really. Um, I said, girls, hold that thought for me that this play, you know, just, you know, gets this, you know, this play sees the light of day. And Ellen just got up from those noodles and she said, Anne, be bold. She looked around the table, she looked at all of us, and she said to us, be bold. And, you know, that's my response to your observation. There is some great stuff that's happening with smaller theater companies that are scrappy. For some reason, maybe because we have to be so facile in certain ways, all right? We have to be bold. And that's what it takes. It's no easy thing to get your work up there, I mean, even just, like, what it costs to rent space. Do you get what I'm saying? It's so, oh, yeah. yeah, you know, just the cost of creating theater now. I mean, it's all very, it's daunting. I mean, you've got to be bold. It takes ovaries to do this work <laughs> all the way around. You know what I'm saying? Yes, you know, yes. And I'm so glad that you're observing it and commenting on it, you know. We don't have a choice but to be bold, you know, for yeah. a number of reasons, I think. But there you go. I agree. And it's in the spirit, I think it's in the tradition and the spirit of San Francisco to be bold and to do bold things in theater. And I, I think the Bay Area has really influenced theater all around this country in ways that most people don't even recognize or understand it. So when you do things like this, I get very excited because I know this is the seed. This is what keeps theater vibrant. And uh, mm. so I would just want to applaud you for being bold. <laughs> well, thank you. And thank you for having me on, Ray. Thank you. You're welcome. You're All welcome. right. Thanks. So good talking to you. Right back at you, Ray. Okay. And I hope your listeners come and see the show. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll force them to. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate I love force. I, <laughs> my, my son calls it. Yeah, with all this mom, all this force eating. You know, like, <laughs> no, right. yes, please tell me so. All right. Have a very, very good uh, afternoon, Ray. Thank you so very you, much. Yeah. Oh, so let's, let's all cut it there. And, um, okay. Okay. I think, I think we're, we're set. Uh, that was great. That was, a lot of that fun. was more than great. <laughs>
Oh my gosh, that was so wonderful. Yeah, I love doing these. I love, I really appreciate you giving me the time. And, um, Are you kidding? Yeah, thanks. Yeah, sure. Thanks, Ray. All That's right. It. Have a great Have day. A, you too. Okay, okay. bye. Bye.